Patriots, today is a marvelous Monday, April 3rd, 2023. I'm your news anchor, Savannah. And I'm your point anchor, Rylan. April is the World Autism Awareness Month. I hope you remember to wear your blue today. Here's a short video with more information about autism. Take it away. We are all different. <clears throat> and that's wonderful. Some differences are easy to see. Height, hairstyle, gender, eye color, and so on. Other differences can't be seen. Our favorite foods, fear, or special skill. Interestingly, the way we see the world is also different. For instance, what do you see in this drawing? Most people see a duck, but some of you might have seen a rabbit. Whichever you saw, you are correct. This is just a trick drawing to show you that all brains work differently. The brain is your body's computer. It works differently for all of us and controls how you learn. That's why we are all good at different things. How you feel, which is why we all feel different emotions. And how you communicate. Sometimes the brain is connected in such a way it affects the senses and how we perceive and read situations and interactions. This is known as autism. Many people have autism, so it's likely you already know someone who is autistic. And for this reason, it's useful to know a little bit about autism. The special wiring inside an autistic brain can sometimes make the person good at tasks we may find difficult, such as mathematics, drawing, or music. It can also do the opposite, and activities we find too easy are incredibly difficult to them, such as making friends. The senses constantly send information to your brain about your surroundings and other people. However, when a person's brain and its senses don't communicate well, the brain can become overwhelmed and confused, affecting how they see the world. Picture yourself walking down the street. This is how an autistic brain may experience the same world. Scary, isn't it? Sadly, in many cases, the person can't say out loud how they feel. So even though there's chaos going on in their heads, they seem okay on the outside, unable to ask for help. We will develop behaviors to help us feel calm in uncomfortable situations. We may look away, hug ourselves, chew our fingernails, fidget, bite our lips, and so on. Equally, autistic people develop behaviors that help them cope with these intense moments. These actions may seem unusual, but they're just their way to feel calm. When they happen, it means they are having a hard time. The kind thing to do is not to give them an even harder time by getting cross, ignoring them, or mocking them. People with autism need friends who are willing to take the time to know. With good communication and plenty of patience, everyone would be better off. People with autism are not ill or broken. They simply have a unique view of the world. And with a little support from their friends, they might just be able to share that view with us. Autism can make... That video is awesome. I never really understood why someone with autism could be different. Their brains just don't function the same way mine does. Patience is really important when dealing with someone with autism. The teachers in our SBC unit have lots of patience every single day. When you see our SBC students, make sure to smile at them and wave hello, even if they don't smile or wave back. Just so they see you. You really can make a difference in their day. Do we have any birthdays today, Rylan? <laughs> yes, we do. Happy birthday to Luke G. and Ms. Epifanio's class, Carson H. and Ms. Bird's class, Alex J. and Ms. Opitz's class. We have a very special belated birthday we'd like to announce today. 
This staff member was not here on Friday, so we'd like to wish a special happy birthday today. Happy, happy birthday, Miss Moss! We also heard that Miss Moss is celebrating a really big number. Like maybe finally reach 25 or something. Be sure to wish Miss Moss a very happy birthday today when you see her. It's also National Assistant Principal Week. That's when we celebrate these unsung heroes and all they do for our school. Thank you for all you do for us. Let's find out what's on the lunch menu for today. Today for lunch we are having PB&J to go box, French market combo, or teriyaki meatballs with brown rice. Vegetable fruit and side choices are roasted broccoli, cucumber dippers, fresh orange, applesauce cup, or juice. And don't forget to grab your milk and utensils. It's time to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, Patriots, and then be seated for a moment of silence. Remember, we are loving the questions by feeding our passions and exploring our wonders. Bye!